This week kicks off National Coming Out Week, and Towson's Queer Student Union and allies pack the Susquehanna Terrace to listen to Peterson Toscano's ex-gay experience and story. Survivor of the pervasive homophobia that fuels the ex-gay movement internationally, Peterson Toscano spent 17 years and over $30,000 attempting to change or suppress his gay orientation. He also survived three exorcisms and a two-year ex-gay residential treatment program. No, but seriously, here in the homo no more happy house, they never promised to make any of us actual heterosexuals. That would be a little ambitious for some of us. But they tell us that if we do our part and we work our program, we're going to come out of here as healthy, celibate ex-gays. And I was raised to think that it's something you can change. And, um, Obviously, I don't agree with that, but it's really refreshing to hear it from somebody else and also get a perspective from someone who's in, who went through the XD movement, and um, now it's, it's better for me to like, defend against my sexuality to people who don't believe that it, um, it's not a choice. Toscano's theatrical presentation engaged Towson to think about the XD movement myths and facts and why people choose to go through with it. Most of the audience connected with Toscano because his story hit close to home. Before, um, when I came out to my parents and um, people in my church, that was what they wanted me to do. Um, I wasn't allowed to uh, be involved in some of the things I used to be involved in at my church unless um, I was given the ultimatum. I could, I could be involved, but I had to be in an ex gay program to be involved in the, in the church. Toscano wanted Towson students to remember one thing about his performance and this week. If I could say one thing is that the coming out process isn't just a matter of saying, hey, I'm gay, I'm lesbian, whatever, but it's about becoming authentic. You know, every community has its norms and encourages people to conform, even the queer community. And so it's so important that you just come out as yourself. And if it's as a person of faith, if it's a gay guy who likes hiking and you like football, if you're a, you know, a lesbian who loves baking, whatever it is, if it's gender normative or if it's not gender normative, the important thing is that we create a society where people can be themselves and not be punished for it. And that there are, we can be all flavors of queer and that that's okay. That no one needs to be threatened by that. Uh, and that, we're, that people are not punished for being different, but instead being rewarded for being themselves. Towson's next event for coming out week is tonight's drag show. For 16 News, I'm McKinley Glenn.